Okay, I think it's filming. We don't even know what the hell this thing does. Yo, what's going on? It's the evening. And uh, today was interesting because Marcus left, but then John Keegan showed up. And Marcus just shaved his head bald. And Keegan's always been bald. So they were, they were going to have this epic meeting of like bald brothers. And now they just miss each other. So it's kind of poopy. Um, well, today was a pretty good day. I've been going through a mild uh, Kim Jong-il obsession. Every once in a while, I just get obsessed with some dictator and just start watching videos. I don't know what it is. Because they must have some sort of charisma. It's just interesting, you know? So once in a while, I'll just get into like Lenin or, or, or Stalin or just look well, at one of these guys. And you just start learning stuff about them. Even Hitler, I have to admit. Once in a while, you're just like, what, what, how did Hitler accomplish this shit? I need to learn more. And you just, you just go through like a World War II phase for, for, for a while, and then it just fades out. So now it's been North Korea. So we're watching shit about North Korea. And what blows me away is just how brainwashed these people are. It's just unbelievable like they're showing like little three-year-old kids like yeah kim jong il's awesome he's the marshal he's he's the you know, like everyone just loves this guy but everyone's just di like dying there's just people are hungry they put people into prison camps where you die if you if you if they make you a traitor you and and two generations of your family are all thrown into prison like it's it's completely insane it's so locked down it's basically what america's going to be in about like three three years at this rate um it's really really terrifying um but what what shocks me is that the, the what's interesting is the people that are there they have no idea that it's that fucked because they don't know any other anything else because all the it's just complete brainwashing, and I just thought well how is that any different than any country right every single country has the same brainwashing everybody thinks they're in the best country nobody questions authority or government everyone just goes yeah but life's awesome we're from the best country of all uh, when in reality all the countries are really fucking evil and are just basically um, taking your money stealing it and then using it to murder other people. Uh, it's pretty much, unless you're from like five countries in the world that are really peaceful, that's pretty much what's going on. So I find it very, very funny that that we think we're better than North Korea, but actually we're just as brainwashed as North Korea. It's just very, it's just very interesting to me. Anyway, um, be happy you're not born in North Korea. <laughs> yeah, because if you say something there, uh, they will fuck you up. You just can't say anything at all. Obviously, I can say whatever I want. You know why? Because they're not going to hear it because there's no internet there. <laughs> so uh, f you North Koreans who don't like me. But um, yeah, and if you go there, this is how oppressive it, oppressive it is. If you go to North Korea, apparently, I've heard this from a buddy. You have to, it's like, you can't just walk around and shit. You have you have a minder who follows you everywhere, and you can only talk to people that are basically like, if you go and you want to meet normal people, it's only people that, gov that love the government, and you can and, and who are gonna say nice things. You can't just randomly talk to people. That's not allowed. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really brutal, and that's what happens when you have any type of uh, really extreme government, like socialism or communism or. Uh, fascism it doesn't matter. It's all the same. Total control, no freedom, uh, not good. So, if anything is to be learned from this video, it's that Sasha likes freedom, total and absolute freedom without any interference from any sources who claim to have authority over you. That's what I'm all about. Anyway, Mr. John Keegan's here. You got anything to say to the nice people in the but world? But what John? about healthcare? What about <laughs> free college? It's free. Yeah. It's never free. You're paying for it. You just don't know it. There's no free but ever. I need to see a doctor because I got to get all these pills they're making so that I feel well. Yeah. Pharmaceuticals, real good for you. That's what you need to fix your problems. So anyway, how was your trip? You were in Gua So me and John went to Guadalajara. We, were, we, we taught a couple of guys. And we went in there. We basically did the program. And, we, and I just got the fuck out because I'm a Jew. And I was paying rent in, in Acapulco for a nice place. Right, so I was just like, I'm paying rent there. I'm not gonna spend more rent in Guadalajara because I can't. As a Jew, it's impossible well, it for me like, to. He, he literally, it's literally. He literally had like, uh, like a confession to himself where he just sat on the corner of the bed. He, he knew there was a whole city there to explore, and he just looked down and almost in shame, and he said, "I'm a Jew, and I have a, I'm paying for an apartment, and I have to go back to it." Yeah, it's so. like it's just bad. It's just bad. like think about it. You're yeah. you're spending like good money on a yeah. nice place, but you're somewhere else. You're not even there. Like, oh, I'm not gonna do that. So I went there for like three days. I taught the thing and I got the fuck out. Uh, it was good. A lot of, you know, pretty, pretty good amount of cute girls. But we, we, I didn't get to see much of the city. But John says he has a great time. So real quick, John, what was your, what was your experience in the, the old Guadalajara? Well, Guadalajara, you know, because then what I ended up discovering, like a nicer part of the city. And uh, I moved into a, a nice little apartment, two-story townhouse to myself in colonial Americana and it sound, it looks just like it sounds. Do you want to admit it all to anything sexual that happened with girls or you want to keep that a secret? Well, I mean, I can just say that I had a nice time. You know, I'm not really a kissing <laughs> You had a guy. really nice time. What about just one funny story? But I mean, it's not like a place where you say, oh, there's a lot of hot girls there. Everyone's got to go. That's not that kind of place at all. I just was kind of open, you know, open to life, and life happened. That's all I can really tell you. You're not going to talk about the Yeah, I'm not really that kind of you guy. Know, you know, right. I could just say it was a me and in the sun and 
uh, pretty moments happen. You know. All right, so here's what happened to John Keegan. John Keegan went to a... Come right, on. I'm not going to say it. Yeah. I'm not saying it. It would have been funny if I just told your story. You're right there. Anyway, he had a great time. And, uh, and basically about Mexico, we've decided that people are really nice. What's amazing about it is like no one... There's no real assholes like this is the main thing I've, I've like anywhere you go in the, in the world you're gonna run into some assholes right any city you're gonna think oh fucking guy's an asshole i haven't run into one asshole honestly I'm a, and, and and i've been here like two months there ha i haven't met one nice one mean person Everyone's i was nice. in an entirely different city a city of a million and a half people and really what i, I you know and i live in new york mostly and what i really there's really very i didn't run into one person who had the edge the only person with edge there is me Right, and I just started to shed it. Like they're not reactive. Like if you bang into somebody, they smile and say, you know, oh, perdón. Or so one woman came around the corner in her car like really fast, and then I looked at her and she's like, he he he, sorry, you know, like that, perdón, disculpe. Like like there's not like the the first instinct isn't to go fuck you or hey let's fight or you're an asshole. And I also noticed that in America, like. I mean, Mexican people here, it's, it's a whole nother thing going on. But when you see like Mexican people in America, uh, in general, I always find out that I, I, they seem to be egoless people. They seem to just love their family, do their work, and go about their business. And then down here, where they're actually having a whole, where it's their society, uh, it's like, um, I just the people are really sweet when I walk yeah. up and talk to them. They're very helpful when yeah. I whenever I have a conversation. And here's the thing, really here, nice. here, here's what's weird if you come from like a, a hellhole dating city like Toronto. Um, girls here smile at you. There's, they're literally, you look at a girl and she'll smile at you in a nice way and kind of, you know, like they're friendly. They want they're, male they're attention. Nice. They're, they're, you know, but like they're not afraid of like showing that they like you, that you're cute. Right. This guy, I remember, I was with John in Guadalajara. This older woman walks by. She must have been well into her 40s, right? Maybe early 50s, wearing this pink dress. She was very sexy. And, and John just looked at her and just went, but just like that. But she saw it and she smiled and waved at him like this. And then as she was walking away with her kid, she kept looking back and like waving at John. And I was like, what the fuck? All you did was just go, wow. And look at this woman. And she's totally into it. It was ridiculous. It you, was. Know, you, don't even, was, you don't even get that in North stunning, America. She was a stunning woman. She, was, she yeah. was. I don't know how old she was. I don't know about 40s or 50s. But she was very stunning. She was stunning. Yeah. But, um, but, but it's just an example of just like, we, you know, people just haven't been destroyed. The culture hasn't been destroyed. Yeah, There's nothing very, wrong with sex nice. or men or women being together. It's all wonderful. And there's just no weirdness about it. It's great. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about their whole sexual, I mean, I'm not going to go as far as what, what all that is. I can just say that um, that the people are very nice and the women are very friendly uh, when you say hi to them. That doesn't mean they're having sex with you left and right, but it means that they're just friendly. They're you friendly. Know? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so uh, I think that's enough ranting for tonight. But uh, Mexico, it's, uh, it's not as dangerous as you think, and it does have nicer people than you think. That's uh, it. And, for and today. there's a lot to offer. I mean, like I was. Having... John, I'm wrapping it up. That's it. We can't go all day. These are little little vlogs. Well, really but uh, we'll be we'll be yeah. it was we'll be back tomorrow probably because you know a lot of nice friends. we like to talk. We like to talk. See you guys later. Like say bye. Say bye. John. All right. Hey, nice to meet you guys. <laughs>